I'm driving the Peugeot 208 GTI. It's the French car maker's half hatch. And this car is powered by a 1.6 liter turbo engine. It develops 200 horsepower, so it's one pretty fast car. It's got a six speed manual. So that makes it an even more sporty drive. It may not look like a sports car from the outside, but it certainly goes like one. It's not as red as the Golf GTI that's also appealing here, but on the inside is where Peugeot put all of the sportiness, well, at least most of the sportiness of this car. As you can see by a lot of red trim, red accents on the, on the steering wheel, the dashboard, the seats, the door panels, even the seat belt has a red pinstripe. What I love the most about this 208 GTI is the steering wheel. It's very small. It reminds me of a Formula One steering wheel. There are buttons also on it, but uh, it's practically just one foot in diameter. And it's made of both smooth leather and perforated leather with built-in grips. So it's such a beautiful place to rest your hands. Perfect also for high-speed driving. This is a real driver's car. The one thing I like about this car is it's so easy to drive. It's actually very comfortable. I'm making a U-turn now and the steering is very light but still communicative. Like most French cars, the riding comfort is superlative. It's actually the best among the Europeans, well, personally speaking. I've owned a French car before, it was a Renault, and it certainly beat a any of the German luxury brands in terms of riding comfort. And this Peugeot is certainly in that class as well. If you've had a stressful day and just want to chill inside the car, don't want to be bothered by a stiff ride or a noisy engine, this car is actually perfect because the seats are so comfortable even though they are really, they're actually sports bucket seats. They really hold you tight in when you're taking turns fast, but they're still fairly soft. And I wouldn't mind sitting on this on a long drive, say to Baguio or Vegan. And the engine is so quiet. This car has a six-speed manual transmission. It's very easy to shift. Clutch pedal is very light. This car will make an excellent daily driver. The thing I like most about hot hatches, especially this 208 GTI, is it can easily transform from a comfortable daily driver into a, into a road rocket. The 208 GTI only comes as a two-door model, unlike the Golf GTI, which can be had in uh, two doors and four doors. Like most hatchbacks, it offers great versatility because of the rear hatch and the folding rear seats, which allows you to put any number of passenger and cargo configurations. If there's one thing i change in this car, that would probably be the instrument panel. It's a bit small considering the performance potential of the car. I would have preferred it to have a bigger tack, a bigger speedometer. This car has a trip computer and right now it's pointing at 8.8 .8 kilometers per liter, which is excellent considering I've been driving mostly in second, third gear with the traffic. I would expect it to be as high as 12 to 14 kilometers per liter in the city, which again for a turbo engine fast car, it's pretty good. I enjoyed my drive in the Peugeot 208 GTI. How about you, Cap? Oh, thoroughly enjoyed the Golf GTI. It was very powerful. How about you? How was your experience? What I liked about it was that it's very comfortable to drive and still very fast. Okay. 
As for me, I think I know what the VW fans were looking for and they were waiting for when the brand first came in the Philippines a few years ago. The Golf is everything and more, especially the GTI variant. Well, when you say GTI, you can expect a lot of things and we, these two cars delivered. We hope you enjoyed our feature of these two hot hatches as much as we enjoyed driving them. Expect more features of the hot new cars coming in. We'll be featuring those cars as soon as they hit the market and we'll bring the lowdown to you guys. This has been Manny De Los Reyes and Cap Maceda Aguila for Wheels TV. See you next week. Bye! Alright, there you have it guys. We sure hope you enjoyed our episode today on the brand new cars and the different cool stuff we presented to everybody today. Absolutely. I'm sure madaming madami pang lalabas na poche. Oh, so definitely. maraming marami pa tayong papakita. Definitely. Anyways guys, it's been Angel and I. Thank you very much for tuning on Wheels TV every Saturday, 10 in the morning. Till next time, see you guys next Saturday, same place. ABS-CBS Sports in Action, Wheels TV, 10 in the morning. See you guys next week. <laughs>